Hi, my name is Kendall. And I have 30 days left in high school. This poem is titled, Phases of the Moon. The other day, I purchased a t-shirt that said, this is not a phase. I am not the moon. My sexuality is incapable of waxing and waning, and I'm not training for the leg Olympics. I promise, this is not to be hip or cool. We both know I've never been either one of those things. I'm too awkward and infatuated with the premise of school. This runs so much deeper, ingrained in the fibers that make up my being. If you were to ever so lightly tap one of these strings, you would hear my body sing. And the specific repetition of half notes would be a recurring chord intertwined into my sophisticated melody. Please, do not correlate my emotional detachment to sexual attraction. I'm sorry, my sexuality has never worked this way because logically I would avoid the opposite sex because we don't think the same way. As if I don't interact with him every day because honestly my romantic attraction has never occasionally extended his way. Do not tell me I dated them because it made sense. Right, because for some mystical reason our thoughts are supposed to synchronize because we both have vaginas. Like our uteruses not only shared cycles during the waning of the moon but thoughts because Women's genitalia possess telepathic capabilities. And if so, why are you always yelling at me? By no means have I contemplated my moral compass for so long because the only security blanket I've ever had told me everything about me was wrong. I can't tell you who I really am. <coughs> I apologize. Your perceptions of gender don't extend past woman and man, and in no way do I blame you. But do not tell me you can dictate my personal realities because the beginnings of them developed in your womb. As if I'm merely a product of your environment. You only think you know me like the back of your hand, but I have a plethora of secrets untold to you, the true colors of my eclipse. You cannot hold my perceptions of the spectrum. At times, I feel they extend past the mental capacities of man. Rather, they wrap around the universe for an infinite amount of times, a spiral trapping your outdated mindset. And with its growth, you seem to fall farther and farther behind. I could simply tell you it's experimentation to calm your overbearing imagination. As if these feelings I had false, these feelings I, <coughs> these feelings were falsified fantasies I'd envisioned meeting my fancy to fill voids that I felt in my life since the beginnings of my time. That this deepening appreciation I have for ones once loved and failed is simply a letter I drunkenly mailed. But I can't fake emotions. Falsifying feelings is beyond my capabilities, and I had no idea these things would meet my fancy. And I don't know why my heart dips when she looks at me, and I can't explain the tremble in my fingers as I survey my body. Never mind the dopamine rushes we were kissing, or the tears that stained my cheeks when I realized all I was missing, or the ones I still keep in bags beneath my eyes. Chalk it all down to daddy issues or PTSD, as long as you don't have to accept that these are permanent parts of me.